Pedro zoning. It doesn't have the SF, just have the, the nuking power that makes it a little bit trepidatious for... Yeah, but you, you can still just like jump on the SF. He's so untanky, and his turn rate isn't fantastic, dude. I think they're just not doing the proper wisp rotation. Yeah. Oh, bottom. Oh, that is not. That's gonna be first blood. Is giving his life up. They want more though. They're gonna be able to get the spin out pretty easily. No, I would much prefer him to win Gretzky and go for it. Feeling like they 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 made this rotation. They want to poke at the top. They need more heroes though. If this, they're gonna make this top play, in all honesty. Run over, good kick. Sick kick. Uh, Lestrag's gonna be in trouble. Oh, the disruption right as the stun comes out. Now he's probably dead anyway, but he is gonna survive for a while. Get out the damage. In which case, oh, oh that black hole. hole. The black Woo! hole. Lestrag, and that'll be a huge turnaround. For Midas Club elite. Wipe them, baby. Wipe them off the floor. This is good, Dota. I said you need to rotate more heroes if you're going to. Oh man, that, that made me both sad as a coach and so happy as a fan, but primarily sad. I'm going to go and say that was sad. That was definitely. <laughs> oh, Forgotten Sun, you are not picking up int here, buddy. Dude, Midas Club Elite's just stifling them. They're not letting them take this top area. We talked about this top area. It's easy to give up because of that rotation bottom, but Infamous was just slow. And they have slow heroes inherently, and that's the problem here. Is this the silencer and this wisp can't go top and pressure this tower with the centaur. So they had to bring in the bat rider as well, did nothing. I mean that was a full five man rotation, and it only took four heroes for Midas Club Elite. They're gonna do four heroes once again. This time though, SF Pedro gonna be invis, making his way around. They don't have detection. They do have these wisp balls coming out though. Yeah, they're gonna throw the kick out. Trying to get the double raise. They got it. I think they should keep going too. Yeah. This is this is too fast right now for Infamous. Like this style. Ah. They're gonna push out mid. This is sick. I like this. Oh, the initiation in the background. They're gonna go for the Enigma here, but they may not that have was the a global. damage. Oh man, they blow out the global. They finally do get the damage, but they blow every single one of their stuns to get you that one. You cannot use that and many Lestrag abilities. And is able to just stand in front of all of this one. Ben House ben finally goes down, and they get the whist as well. That, that was two for two there, but everything was blown by Infamous. They like just you, you pop it to pop it, you know. Gotten son in some serious trouble. Does not have a TP. Not Man. sure what he's doing this far up. He has a TP, got a pitiful... Oh, never mind. It's all worth it. He got a tower. Completed his minus. Minus. Yeah. But he has two in stolen. Uh, who gets it, though? Looks like Hannah Midas for Lulosa here. But it's probably the Enigma. Oh, here we go. First slowdown. They're going to get the relocate out. No problem. Okay, that makes sense. You can relocate him out while he's disrupted. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, goodbye, Go Wudota. Kill on Wisp. Don't do that. Right, Don't do that. Very silly. Yeah. That's Back still to a Roshan big We go. Yeah. Teeping right in front of the tower is whole oh, something else. We saw oh, it. Cost Bardo, you see him? Get a Bardo! Bardo got him! Oh, that TP was like I saw the animation going off. Ooh. Wow. They're not gonna kill him though, They're are they? They're still not gonna kill him. Oh, he's just gonna catch him I mean, they, they might just like hold this tree line. Yo, go go down here. Oh, they're gonna find him? Oh, fight him. Yeah, get the disruption. That's the gem, by the way. This, this is, is why they were willing to TP back, because if they take away that gem, big, big swing. This might have... And I just want to be proven right. That's really all it is, Austin. I want people Centaur, to. Centaur coming oh. in. He has the relocate. They're actually going to fight this one out. And this Leshrac, he's going to be targeting. He is going to go down so fast. He can, but it's just not going to happen. Lilosa, a black hole onto just two. Immediate global silence. Then Guys. Goes a third. And no. Midas Club Elite have lost their opportunity big time. Guys, oh my god. There are so many opportunities to play. And this is okay. But the rest of his team can't be showing them. Like, they're, they're splitting up and showing around the map. Benja is going to get gone on. But the K 
kick. This is out on the Bat Rider, but they do manage to get the stun onto the Sven. He does have BKB Black Global Black Silence. Gold, immediately canceled by the Global Silence. SF's on the other side of the map. And now we're going to lose everyone. Our Leshrac is going to be caught by the Centaur. Good disruption save, though. Pedro is here. Maybe he can get off enough to be able to turn this fight around. They're going to try and chase down the Bat Rider. Let's lose the ultimate or not. Change the round. They slow down a little bit more with the Bat Rider with the Lightning, but it's still not enough. They run into the Wiz, they'll take that kill at the bare minimum, but that was, again, another bad fight from Midas Club Elite. Oh, this is so... If... <laughs> what? Caught the Batrider. Malifis, Mardo's gonna be able to follow that. They gotta relocate stun. up here. Gets the oh, misses his stun, what? Oh my god, he's actually gonna be able to get away from because of that one. Centaur gets a really good stun on the oh, side. Here comes the Sven. Just goes ahead, takes out the SD first. Now the ultimate did land. Bardo gets caught by the swing of the Sven. Sven cannot beat out Pedro though in damage, and he'll lose that fight. Looks like uh, Ryu will manage to get over that clip before he stabs himself away. This, is this, so this rich. information has no impact on me. Dude, look at this 120 gold per minute GPM talent with this Midas. He's just. It's getting like 300 gold a minute. He's gonna have a refresher. That's the way to counter Global Silence. Yeah, he's they're going they're playing the late game, man. He's going Lincoln's fam. Did this Wisp just relocate out to yeah, kill bottom? Yeah, yeah, but uh, they're going for the last track. So they get that last track kill. They're gonna come right back. Uh, it's going to be awkward. Stop. That's yeah, gonna stop things. They are going to blow up the Wisp right away and leave the Sven in bottom lane, which leaves him out of position to be able to take this row shot. Mandy has taken a whole heck of a lot of damage. He's what? not able to get off his ultimate. They've lost two now, and Pedro is threatening Roshan right now. There's no way that was the play. No, it certainly was not. And now, they're going to have to find a way to... Oh, God, that was not the bash. Oh, that was poorly timed. Goodbye, Bardo. Bardo. Oh, wait. Uh, uh, Roshan oh, killed him. That's done. A bounce back stun actually hits Benjes. They are able to kill the Shatter Demon as well, but it looks like uh, Silencer should be chased down by the Scotty. Raise for the Spawn. They are going to use the lasso now. Benjes here he does not have his ultimate, though, but they're still going to try and finish him off. Leshrac's coming in. He does have BKB, so Sven's going to have to pop that one now as Leshrac shows himself. But Lolosa is here with the black hole. There's no Silencer, so he buys back at Global Silence, but he's still dead. Oh, God. Seconds left to respawn as a core. Because you know you don't want to buy back. No, Mandy. He has to get off the ultimate, gets to the shrine, but Pedro still beating him down. Is going to oh, be able to get that no. kill, and it doesn't look like they got anything on the side of Midas Club Elite. We're not able to make that Bat Rider initiation work. So they're going to lose one lane of racks. They're going to lose two here, potentially. The Centaur has no buyback. He needed to wait. All he had to do was wait for the Sven to come back. Now they're going to try and initiate. All right, Sven, not going to be able to bring down the SF right away as he does get a disruption save. The old save from the Leshrac stalls things out pretty heavily as well. Benjis no longer has that BKB. Bardo rolls in, does manage to get a pretty decent ultimate, which he can kill some of the supports. But, oh, oh Ben Stun Jess. actually hits two, but he does end up falling. Now, without a BKB and without his ultimate, there's no way he can output the damage to beat out both Pedro and fucking A. I think, my, I think Midas Club should just keep going. Yeah, absolutely. They are going to take the Wisp. They're going to try and catch this Sven. I'm not sure what he was doing pushing out mid, but now he's surrounded. He is dead as well, and that's got to be it. The Midas Club have won. This there is the first time yeah. I've seen Pedro and use Pedro's his ulti. He's throwing out his ultimate. He's like, I forgot yeah. that I had this. Woo! Okay, so this went from unlosable game to really hard to win back to winnable game. Because uh, Infamous, that Roshan area was just not theirs. Like, even if they give up Aegis, they still have sick high ground defense. The Aegis was not make or break for them, whereas it was for Midas Club Elite. Yeah. They needed to be a little bit more patient, as they were not. So as a result, Midas Club Elite, they're going to pick up the pieces. That graph, though, is not pretty.